In this video, I will show you how to sell personalized items on Shopify. So I've just created a brand new Shopify store right here to show you the entire step-by-step -step process to creating and selling personalized products where people can add in their own pictures or their own text and basically any type of personalization that you want to do. So there's a couple of tools that we are going to use for this. Number one is of course Shopify. Number two is Printify to actually do the print on demand. And number three is the most important app of all of these and that app is this one right here called T in blue product personalizer they have a free plan available on top of a 14 day free trial you can see they have some amazing ratings 4.8 stars with nearly 250 reviews so they let you sell for example personalized mugs t-shirts phone cases anything else you want so here we have a couple of examples so a personalized street map a personalized star map you can upload photos and remove background, personalized clip art images. And in this video, I will show you how you can create, for example, a personalized mug. So TM Blue offers a really simple integration with both Shopify and Printify. So therefore we will be using Shopify, TM Blue and Printify because these three apps work together really well. Now I'll leave a link to T in blue down in the description and that link will take you right here. So it will take you directly to the Shopify app store into the T in blue product personalizer. So if you already have a Shopify store, you can simply click install app right there and then you will install it. Now if you don't have a Shopify store yet, it will say login to install. And then if you click login to install, you can then here click get started. And then you will also be able to get started with Shopify completely for free on top of downloading the T in blue app so that you will be set up automatically. Now I also leave a link to Printify down in the description and that will take you to this page right here. These are my affiliate links but it's of no additional cost to you and it will save you some time to just click on those links. So you can see Printify is also 100% free to use and they offer 900 plus high quality products. So if you head over into their catalog you can see some of their categories right here. So they have a bunch of products from mouse pads to postcards to sweatshirts to hoodies. They have a bunch of different stuff that you can actually sell. So for this example again I will do a mug. So I'll click mugs right here. And now here you have some mugs that you can actually put your design on and specifically we are going to let our customer personalize this design. So for example if I want to do this one and I want to create some kind of a Mother's Day mug gift and this one has the little heart on it so that's perfect and Mother's Day is coming up so I'll do this one. So I'll click on this product and now here in order to get started click on start designing right here and now in order to get started just go and click on sign up right here and go and create your printify account then after you do that you want to go and click on my new store right here and then click on add a new store now here click shopify and here you will need to enter your shopify url so go to your shopify store here and click on settings in the bottom left and from here just go and take your url then paste that in here on printify and go and click on connect then click install right here and now we have installed the Printify app. Now there's one more app that we need to install and that is the T in Blue product personalizer. So again I'll leave a link to this specific page down in the description and from here simply click install and then click on install again. So that will take you right here and it's now signing in and connecting your Shopify account and syncing everything. So here you will see their plans. So they have a 14 day free trial on any plan. And then this is the plan that is the cheapest, which is the starter plan at $19 per month, which will get you 50 free orders per month. And basically a free order is where they don't charge a transaction fee. Now after those 50, you will have a 1.8% transaction fee, but you can upgrade to a more premium plan to get more free orders. But but in this plan you will get literally everything you need for only $19. So if you sell literally two products per month, you will already be making this back. So click start 14 day free trial right there. And then here in Shopify, you want to go and add your payment method so that you can actually pay. Now, for example, I will select a credit or debit card and then I will add my credit card. So I've now connected my credit card and now we can actually start our T in blue 14 day free trial. So go and click on approve right here and now we can actually get started using T in blue. And T in blue is the best app out there for product personalization. And now what we are going to do is click on go to theme editor because we need to activate the app. So click go to theme editor and that will take you directly to your Shopify theme editor. From here just go and enable T in blue and click save. Now that we have done that we can refresh this page right here 
and click on I have activated. So now we have done the setup. Now next we are actually going to get started with creating some products. So click product base right here. And now I already have this product, but I'll just remove this one for this specific example. And now what I will do is click import product. And now here click on Printify since we are using Printify. And then you want to go and search for the specific product that we found. So I will open up my Printify account and go to the catalog right here and click on mugs. Now this right here is the specific one I had, so it's called heart shaped mug. So now I will go to team blue and here search for heart shaped mug. And now you will see it right here and now you can click import. And now for the print provider, you can see it right here in Printify if we click on the product. For this specific one, there's only OPT on demand and you can see this one is in the Czech Republic. So make sure that you find one that is pretty close to you so that you have fast shipping. Now for me, this one's pretty close, so I'll select this one right here and click import. Then go and click import again. And now we have this mug right here. So now what we are going to do is click on the edit icon. Now first we can actually change the title and the description and stuff like that. And you can see that right here we have the print area. So this is all added in automatically. And for example, if you pick a t-shirt, then you will see different stuff right here because there's different sizes. But for a mug or for example, some kind of a display, then there will only be one. So that's easier. So now what we are going to do is click artworks right here. And then in the top right, click on new artwork. Now here, select the name for your artwork. So I'll name this mug. Then select the category. I don't have any, so I'll keep that open. Now I will import a print area size from this product right here, the heart shaped mug. So then we have the exact print area. Now for the design format, I'll just keep this to what it was and click save. So now here we can actually create our artwork. So creating the artwork is a basic and simple drag and drop editor. So you can add in your images, you can add text or any of this stuff right here. Now I'm going to start with a background image. For example, if I want this kind of beige background, then I'll just align this to the entire page right here so that the background then becomes this color. So now on top of this, I will start actually creating my design. So first what I'm going to do is add some text. Now again, this is specifically for Mother's Day. So I'll make this specific to Mother's Day and I will just find some elements to put on this that I can download online and use for free. So what I will do for this specific design is a pretty basic design and what I'm going to do is allow the people that are buying this mug to basically add in their own image. So actually for the background I'm going to keep it transparent so I will remove this layer right here. So what I will do first is upload an image right here. So if I want the image that the people upload to be a square then I want to select a square template right here and preferably you want to have some kind of a picture that kind of shows what the person needs to upload right here. So for example, if it needs to be a picture of a dog, then you want to upload a dog picture. Or for this one, it's a Mother's Day gift. For, so for example, a picture of the mother and the person that's buying it. And now what you can do is here, click on the edit icon. And now here for the personalization option, you can do one clipboard category. You can add one group of clipboard categories. You can upload a photo map, star map, or share with another layer. Now I'm going to choose upload photo. Now here for the option title, you want to just enter what you want the person to upload. Then you can enable the photo cropper if you want. Then the upload editor, you can direct upload, no editor. You can use the photo cropper or photo reposition. I'll select photo reposition. And now you can set a minimum size so that the picture is high enough quality if you want. You can add any image effects. So right here you can remove the background, have a face cutout, cartoon or black and white. Now I won't do this, but it's a pretty cool feature. And here you can now add an instruction for the customer. Now for this specific design, I'm going to keep this super simple to just show you how this works, but you can make this as difficult basically as you want. You can add in any personalized text. So for example, if I have this text right here, you can then click personalization options and then click enable personalization and just let the person type whatever they want right there. And in order to, for example, change the font right here, you can just click on this text and then at the top, you can then change it to one of the Google fonts or a custom font. You can change the font size, the color, anything you want. And for this example, I'll just do a pretty basic text right here that is used a lot on these types of products. So for example, I'll make this one a little bit thicker. And again, this is a really basic design just to show you how this works. Now you can also add a curve. And now when I click on save right here, you will then see the design right here and it's now set to unpublished. So now what we are going to do is head over to our product base, then click on the product you want to edit to and click edit. 
And now once you have finished the artwork, you can click campaigns right here and then click by product base. And then here click new campaign, then give the campaign a title. And now here add the available products. So add more products right here and then select the products. So in my case, this mug. And then you want to click on select artwork. And in my case, it's this one. And then you will see it right here. So now you can see that people can actually add their own image. So it says picture of you and your mom. So we have now assigned this artwork to this product right here. Now here you have a mock-up and what you want to do here is click on the edit icon. And now you need to add a print area. So select this right here. And now you have the print area right there. Now you want to make it aligned so that it actually looks like the preview. So for example, like this, and then when I click save, you will now have the preview right here. So just make sure this looks good and it's the actual size of the print area. And now as you can see, when I click choose an image and upload my own image, for example, if I upload this image and then I can just choose how I want it. So for example, I want it to be a bit larger like this, for example, then I can click save and now it will actually have the preview right there with the actual image and people can now actually personalize this mug. Now this one doesn't look very good, but you just want to go ahead and customize whatever you want. You can add different text. And for example, if you have a section where people can add in the text, then they will also be able to do that right there. So once you're happy with how everything looks and you have basically done this, you can click on launch and it will say publish to Shopify. So when you click launch, you can then choose your store. If you only have one, then it will be done automatically to the correct one. Now, as you can see, there's one more thing that I forgot to do, which is to add a price. So in order to do this, what you want to do is go to your product base, then click on the mug right here. Then scroll down a bit until you see the product. And then here you can set a price. For example, if I set this one to 20 euros, and then click update campaign and then update the one that you want to update. So for me, this one. So now we have set the price. Now, if you go back to product base here and click on the campaign right here, we can now click launch and then choose the one we want. And now there's one more thing we need to do, which is to click assign variants right here and then just assign it to the mug right here and click save. And now we have actually assigned this right here to the heart shaped mug. So now you can see once you have assigned a price right here in the product base, it will show right here. And now when you click launch and then click launch again, it will now actually be launched to your Shopify store. So now if you head over to our Shopify store and then click products, you will now see the product right here. So I'll quickly click preview. And now on Shopify, you can see the price, the actual preview, the color size, and even the customization right here has been imported. So now people can click choose an image, then upload whatever kind of image they want. For example, this one, and now they can actually purchase it. And now what will happen once you get an order is that T in blue and Printify will work together to create this product. So basically T in blue will put in an order on Printify and Printify will then ship the product out to the customer and actually create the product, of course, with the personalization. So all you need to do is create the designs and add them to your Shopify store and then market to your actual Shopify store. So you can do the same process with t-shirts or with hoodies or with some kind of a poster, whatever you want. So now you know how to sell personalized items on Shopify. Again, down in the description, you will find a link to the T in Blue app where you can both download the T in Blue app. And if you don't have a Shopify account yet, you can also sign up to Shopify for free. Then I'll also leave a link to Printify down in the description that you can use to sign up to Printify so that you can actually connect Printify to T in Blue. So now you know how to sell personalized products on Shopify. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.